Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how I made these candle holders using wine bottles. For this one, I used a frosted spray paint and I would recommend that you use an LED candle light and not a normal candle. For these three, I used a glass etching cream and you can use either a normal candle or an LED candle. You can even add these cool wine cork LED lights. I'll leave a link below. Soak your bottles overnight to remove the labels. Next day, scrape off the labels using a utility knife. To remove any residual adhesive, use Goo Gone. Be sure to wash it off thoroughly. Measure the height for your bottle holders and place a mark. There are many ways to cut glass bottles, but for me the safest and most effective way is using a glass cutter. I scored the glass using the glass cutter and then placed the rubber bands that came with it above and below the score line. Please wear eye protection when working with glass. I alternated between pouring hot water on the bottle and dipping it into ice water. And after about three pours of the hot water, the bottle broke off. Using a rotary tool with a diamond bit, I sanded the edge of the glass. Keeping the bit underwater helps to lubricate it. Using Silhouette Studio, the program that came with the vinyl cutter, I bought in a graphic from the internet and outlined it, and then sent it to the cutter. I weeded out the unwanted vinyl, exposing the areas that would be etched or painted. I affixed the transfer tape to the design and peeled off the vinyl backing. The transfer tape was attached to the bottle and firmly pressed down to ensure proper contact with the glass. I removed the transfer tape exposing the stencil. When using etching cream, be sure to wear gloves and eye protection. I applied the etching cream onto the bottle by dabbing it with a paintbrush. I left it on for about 15 minutes, wiped it off and then rinsed it out. Peel off your stencil to reveal the finished etch design. On the single candle holder, I used a special frosted spray paint, which gave it a glass etch look. I used 3 quarter inch white pine for the bases. You can cut yours using either a hand saw, jigsaw or table saw. For the smaller base, I first spray painted it silver, then applied a stencil and spray painted it black. After removing the stencil, I applied two coats of sealer. I applied some glue to the neck of the bottle and wrapped some silver cord around it. For the larger base, I routed the edges, then sanded it. I then drilled three holes a quarter inch deep using a Fosna bit. I applied a Shoshugi band finish with my torch, then brushed off the loose ashes and soot. I wiped it down thoroughly with a tack cloth before applying three coats of a water-based stain after which I applied three coats of polyurethane varnish. You are now ready to sit back, relax and enjoy your candle holders. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.